So I've had this dumb phone for a little over a month and it's taught me so much about how addicted I was to the smartphone. And maybe you are too. And this right here taught me how to be way more productive. It also taught me uh, how to be more creative. So all these things are just amazing quality of life fixes for my life. But there's a problem with this phone. It's awful. It's terrible. It is a oh, just an awful phone. And that's kind of the point, right? It taught me the things that I was addicted to with my phone. And yes, I did end up going back to a smartphone. And this right here is what I ended up going with is a Pixel 4a. I've already had one of my favorite phones of all time, but I didn't want to go back to smartphones per se. I wanted to do something special and make the perfect phone, find the things I love about having a dumb phone and implement those into the smartphone ecosystem because that Pixel 4a now lasts a week on battery life. And you're probably thinking, what? How can a smartphone last more than one or two days? And that's where the dumb phone kind of fixed my glitch. And I think everyone can make their phone do this, especially if you're an Android user. Apple, obviously, you can only remove so much and do so much with this. But I want to teach you how to de-bloat or change your phone into the perfect phone. So let's get on the desktop and show this because uh, I have this piped right into uh, my desktop and we can get a full screen so we don't have to do that over the shoulder nonsense. So right here is my start screen. Now, there are a couple things here is uh, there is no like app drawer or anything like that. All this coming from the bottom is gone. You might notice there's no top screen. Well, that's still there, but I'm doing some other stuff with like USB bugging and those types of things. The cool thing about this is the battery life on it is really extensive. And how I did the apps on this portion using this custom launcher, this is the Niagara launcher, but I couldn't use the Google Pixel launcher that comes with these Pixel phones because it was going to be problematic for me. Having that was basically there's too many dependencies and other things that were bloating up and draining the battery of my phone. So let's get into the things I wanted to strip out of my smartphone to make it more dumb, but also have all the things I need because you can see I like music, I like phone, I like messages, dumbbell workouts, playbook is actually another workout app, photos and camera, uh, some financial apps, and then obviously like ride sharing stuff if I'm visiting somewhere. There's certain things that I need but there's other things that are just awful about smartphones. So let's get into that. So first, the downsides of having that terrible dumb phone was mainly mobile orders, navigation, Uber Lyft, group messaging, and then a couple of other things I already laid out. The things that are problematic about smartphones that I noticed I was losing productivity and creativity for was web browsing. This is a double-edged sword. Some people really need this. But for me, I found I always have a laptop or a computer nearby, so I didn't. It was just more of a way to waste my time. Social media, of course, time waster. That, we all know that. Social crutches, elevators, waiting rooms, bathrooms, <laughs> you name it. Dentist's office, the addiction is real. You'll just see everyone pull out their phone to just kind of use that as a social crutch. Low battery life, we touched on that, one or two days typically. YouTube and YouTube Studio. I kind of put this outside of social media because for me, this was a bad thing I was constantly on my phone doing, uh, doubly so since I mainly make videos on YouTube. And then email. And email is a weird one for a lot of people. But for me, it's kind of unprofessional to respond to a bunch of emails. And, and it felt like just busy work. It, it feels much better to allocate two times a day to check and respond to emails. And that just works for me might be different for you, but if you're constantly responding to every ding on your email, just know you're losing probably four or five times the amount of productivity you're capable of. Let's talk about how I made this because debloating the phone is really where it's at. So the big things we need to know about our phone is one, how are we gonna do this? First, you need ADB installed in an Android phone, of course. Apple phones, you could probably just strip out and delete as many apps as you can. It's going to get kind of a similar result. Of course, you're not going to be able to remove Safari and some other uh, apps that, you know, to really leverage it like I am, but, you know, teach his own. Uh, so install ADB. You can do it in Linux. I put the instructions here, Windows or Mac. All these things work. So you just install these tools and then we can interface with ADB on the command line. So if we look back here, 
and we go like ADB, uh, this is all the things we can do. And we can just go ADB devices. Again, this works on all the platforms, uh, devices. You can see the list of devices right here. As long as it doesn't show nothing when you do ADB devices, you should be good to go. With ADB working, we can now use something called the Universal Android Debloater. And I made a little click to right here. This is the GitHub releases. And all you do is come down, click assets, and then pick whatever executable you need. So for me, I'm doing Linux. So I'll click that one. If you're on Mac, you'd click this one. And if you're using like Windows, they have a nice little executable. So even easier. So come over to your, your file browser. We'll go to downloads. And there's our download right there. Uh, comes in this extract. You just extract it to here. And then we just execute that uh, program. And then it launches into here. Now, yours on initial launch is going to have a ton of stuff in here. I'm talking Google loads their phones down with so much telemetry and other dependencies that just kill your battery life. All you really need to do is from the bottom here, select all, and then click uninstall selected. This will rip out Google Chrome. It'll rip out photos. It'll rip out a whole bunch of stuff. So I just recommend doing a select all. And if you want to go through each one, one by one, you can. But for the most part, I want to remove all that. The one thing I will say, if you have a pixel like me and you're really heavily debloating it, I would say come into here first, launch into your Play Store, and then from the Play Store, I would grab the Niagara launcher right here, click it. And then from this launcher, you'll be able to open it up uh, and do so much more. And now this is a free app and it's very, very clean. The pro one gives you a little bit more. And I, I went ahead and got the pro for mine. It was $15 for a lifetime. And the nice thing was it removed the bar up here and then added this little scheduler I like here to see. But if you don't care about those two things, the free one gives you this nice minimal layout. And then you pick the couple apps you're going to be using for your phone to make it perfect. And then if you need to select anything else, obviously I have other apps like some smart home devices and things I don't need on my home screen. Uh, just pull that from the side. This is how you would select it. Very intuitive with your thumb and a great launcher. So, but if you have a separate one, you could do it. But I'd say stay away from the really big third party launchers like Nova and some of the other more popular ones. Try to go more minimal. And that's the whole purpose of debloating this is to do a minimal setup. And that's that's what I'm trying to accomplish with this. And, and I was successfully able to do so just using this universal Android debloater. I installed everything. Personally, how I did it was I just selected it all, ripped it all out, and then just installed the little bits that I needed. And now I have an absolute perfect phone that lasts me a week. So that's how I debloated my phone and made it perfect for my needs. It's a smartphone, but rather dumb. And a lot of times I will forget to check or charge it. So I actually had an instance last week where uh, it actually died because I hadn't charged it more than a week. And I you know, got in the habit of not really checking my phone very much unless it dinged uh, from a text message or someone called me. And since that didn't happen for an extended period of time, it just, yeah, one of those things. It's, it's hilarious how I retrain my brain to do this. And that's what I say about this dumb phone revolution. Just make your smartphone a bit dumber. I think I, I got the whole idea from a YouTube comment going, this is dumb, just don't install the apps. And I got to think and I was like, there's a lot more you can uninstall. So with that, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the old dumb phone and this smartphone and kind of making it a more minimal experience and giving it everything I needed just in the perfect packaging. Oh, and before you go, these shirts are now back on sale. There is only one Debian. If you're interested, pick it up down below. Uh, it's only for a limited time. I do in one order at, I think, the middle of this week. It'll end and those will ship out. And then I might do one more order until Christmas. So with that, see you in the next one.